Hamster consultation. Bridge there, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the bridge of the nose. But, uh, I just noticed the one side brown. The teeth, uh, huh? Oh, the teeth itself, is it? Yeah. Is it yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's just the staining of the teeth. Oh. She's been biting her cage. Mm. Okay, this one looks like a scab, huh? Okay, okay. Um, usually it indicates there's some injury to it. Okay, oh. um, what happens is usually, okay, if I say the environment is a bit dusty, or something more dirty, for example, the bedding not changed regularly, or the type of bedding was changed. What happens? There's some irritation to the top. Okay. Um. Then what happens is scratch. Scratch. Ah. Okay. Okay. The other thing that can happen is if let's say your cages are a bit rusty, or again. Okay. Okay. Um. As for medication wise, what we do is we give you a bit of a wash. Okay. The disinfectant wash. Okay. okay. What you do is you just wash the area, wash, wash. it off. Use either a cotton bud, oh, cotton wool. Never been here before. No worries, this is just that scab when you don't, don't okay. not everything. Um just try to avoid the eyes. Okay. Okay, then after that, um <coughs> it will get better within a week. Uh. We'll give you some oral medications to leave as well. Okay. This one they will be filled with, with liquid. Okay. Just okay. put it in the mouth. Uh. Alright. Uh. The lame chew is okay, okay. then you just chew inside. Okay. Okay? That's all. Simple. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll see. Okay. I'll give you a disinfectant wash uh, and then just some oral yeah. medications. Should clear up, lah. But you need to find out what's poking into you. Oh, okay. Oh, if not, lah. Is there like any other? Thing? How old is this fella? She was six months, seven months. No, lah. So young, you say no problem, lah. Oh, nice fella. Hey, you're very mild. Oh. Terrapin year obsessed. This is a Be Kind to Pets educational video sponsored by Tapio Vets. This video is about a terrapin with two ear abscesses and how the terrapin's owner found treatment using social media. Jerry Nye, 2014, a young lady brought in a terrapin this morning and uh, she had searched the internet and found that the condition is actually an ear abscess. So I asked her, she said that she googled the internet and uh, she used the words ear abscess ear abscess therapine ear abscess therapine so after that then she, the, the web page shows that there's a video uh, from top of your vet this is the video and this this therapine appear to have the same condition has hers so she called me and made an appointment this is a kind of to view uh, to, to for treatment sponsored by the bio vets you Hello. can see today we shall be looking into the case so of the ear abscess in the therapy so why okay. is the ear abscess no. how do you treat one well let's find out a few years ago a concerned owner brought his pet therapy to the bio vets for a check so this is the video uh, this shows that uh, YouTube, YouTube and so and social media itself, which is uh, YouTube, which is part of social media, media is very uh, effective and useful for the vets to educate the owner and to to inform them about the services provided. So this video has been produced by my intern, and uh, it explains what is absent and how the treatment. So now, we will come to this patient. Now this patient has right and left ear abscesses, as you can see. The right one is, the right one is very big, and the left one is also quite big. Ear abscess here, is it? So, so I need to um, focus on it bigger, rather than far away. Now I can hold it. And uh, normally well, I do it under just gas, as of an anesthesia. And it's, uh, it's best for the videographer to, to, to zoom as close as possible to, to show the abscess rather than show other parts of the body. Uh, so this is the right abscess before treatment. You can come closer, you cannot really. Okay, then the, the left abscess. The reason for this ear abscess, I told the owner, is because her water tank 
it's only two inches deep and it's, the water is changed only once a week. So many dirt and, uh, and bacteria must have gone inside the ear causing the swelling which she said was only last two days. So for, for the therapy, for the therapy, you, you need to have uh, more water, not just two inches, and the water needs to be changed daily, not weekly. Uh, probably there should be a water filter as well, so that this will prevent any ear abscesses. Uh, in this case, the therapy has only a few rocks in a in the tank, so it does come out and rest on the rocks, but but it's it's not comfortable. So the best is to have a pet, have a pet and and uh, let, let, let the therapy come out to dry himself. Okay. Now, the, this therapy is only one year old and uh, the treatment is to lunge the abscess, take out the part. This is the abscess on the right ear. This is the left ear abscess. The next video will show how the abscess was treated. The abscess is being lanced using a scalpel. was flushed with water. The pus is being removed. Terrapin healed well after the procedure. It is important to keep the enclosure clean to prevent abscesses in terrapins. Should you notice that your terrapin has abscesses, treat it quickly. IV drip. How an experienced vet gives a dog an IV drip? Video done by Dr. Sing Kong Yuan during a visit to Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery in Yangon in February 2014. The man entering is Dr. Tian Tong Ang of the Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery, Yangon, Myanmar.
He shaved and cleaned the area. His assistant presses the dog's elbow to make the cephalic vein prominent. He inserts and plugs the IV catheter. He secures the IV catheter with skin tape. Air is removed from the IV fluid line. IV fluid line is attached to IV catheter. IV fluid line is looped and secured in place with the second skin tape. He covers both tapes with self-adhesive tape. Dr. T.T. Ong checks the flow rate of the IV drip.